five-star accommodations, Persian meals, spending time with an Afghan that had threatened to slit my throat, one-lane roads, and distributing Greek New Testaments. It's been a few weeks, and I have a lot to tell you about. Looking forward to sharing time. Let's begin with those five-star accommodations before you think things have gotten completely crazy. Recently, I had the opportunity to go and spend time with a group of Persian believers. It was at this camp where the choice was a cabin or a three-person tent, or fortunately for me, I had drug along an Eno. So I hung up an Eno on the beach and woke up each morning listening to the waves and dealing with a few mosquitoes. But trust me, that is five-star accommodations for me. It provided a really unique opportunity. We were at a camp where a group of Persian believers had gathered in order to work through the book of Ephesians. We were talking about how our talk needed to match our walk. And what was so unique and so much fun is that I really got to spend that time with an Afghan that had threatened to slit my throat. Let's back up for just a minute. It was 2014 when I first met this particular Afghan. And it was at this very camp in this very place where we were this summer that I'd shared the gospel with him. And he looked me square in the face and he said, if you were in my home country, I would slit your throat. And I just kind of smiled and laughed and I said, well, I'm sleeping right down there. You can, you can find me in that tent if you need to take out this anger and aggression for some reason. Now, many of you would laugh, but I knew he wouldn't really slit my throat because we're in Europe. But what occurred was shortly thereafter, this gentleman would come to faith and the Lord would begin to use him. He has become a very unique part of our community. And I have recorded his testimony, which I will share in a link right here called Sojourner Stories. He's been a really unique ministry partner and someone that I've enjoyed spending time with. And it was such a blessing to get to be a part of teaching and hearing him walk through the book of Ephesians with other believers here in the area. But the fun did not end there. We had lots of Persian meals together. We had uh, rice dishes and multiple conversations. I got to know new people in our community and I got to share a lot of really unique time at this men's camp where we were working on some key elements of discipleship. But the month did not end there. Just a few days back in Athens and working with uh, our office and all of the things that needed to take place, we set out on one more adventure helping an organization distribute Greek New Testaments. We went to a very remote part of the country and we saw some poverty and we saw some things that were just really, frankly, unbelievable here in Europe. But it was such a unique opportunity as our family traveled one lane back roads. Some of the things that I thought I had seen in East Tennessee got ratcheted up kind of to the next level. But we distributed New Testaments. We interacted with a number of people in these villages. And we even had a few people that were overly appreciative of receiving the word in their heart language. So we just wanted to say thank you. We wanted to give you a quick update and to share how the Lord's been using us over the past several weeks. But we're not done yet. We have counseling projects and many other things that are still yet to transpire. If you've not done so, hit the subscribe button and the bell so that you will be notified of new videos as those things become available. And also follow us on Instagram and in Twitter as we post updates, prayer requests, and specific things more frequently in those venues. Thank you for your time and God bless.